Hello there. So today is all about makeup revolution. I've got loads of products, well, loads, I mean, not loads. I, I mean, you see some of these YouTubers unboxing all of their, you know, PR packages. They have loads of uh, products. I have not a lot of products, but I've got a few of the um, kind of new releases for Makeup Revolution. So today I'm going to be trying out two of them. I'm going to be trying out the rest in a separate video. I hope that you don't mind that I'm not kind of amalgamating everything into one video. Being completely honest with you, whenever I've got a lot of products to try in one video, I get anxious because I'm like, I just get worried because I think, oh my gosh, this video is going to be like so long. No one's going to want to watch it because it's so long. So I hope you don't mind, but that's why I kind of split it into two. Just because I get super anxious, like if, if I think, oh my gosh, it's going to be like way too long. But today we're going to be focusing on two of the newly released liquid highlighters. I have the shade uh, Starlight and I've got Unicorn Elixir. These cost £6 each. Makeup Revolution released seven different shades. Shades that complement uh, pale skin, they've got shades that complement medium toned skin, and they've got shades that complement deeper skin. Obviously you wear whatever shade pops your pants off, I mean as always. I picked these two shades because I just thought they, like I'd get the most wear out of them. As with all liquid highlighters, these can be applied in a multitude of different ways. You can use them as a base to add a little bit of luminosity to your face. You can use them on top of your founded liation to give you that blinding glow. Or you could mix a couple of drops into your founded liation, moisturiser, whatever the hell you're putting on your face and then it would add a little bit of extra glow. Today I'm going to be applying uh, one of these on each side of my face. I'm going to be applying them kind of as a base. Then I'll be putting my foundation lotion on and then I'll be applying them over the top of my foundation. I've heard really, really good things about these. Okay, so they come in these little kind of... Um, I don't think they're glass or maybe they're glass. I have no idea. I mean, is it glass? Is it plastic? Is it steel? No idea. But anyway, it comes in a bottle. Uh, I, the identity is unknown at this point. Um, and it's got a little like rubber, like dropper type situation there. Can you see that? So I'm going to just get a begin. Oh, by the way, the Unicorn Elixir one comes in a holographic kind of little packaging situation. So beautiful. I mean, really. So I'm going to begin with the Unicorn Elixir. I'm just going to, oh, looks a little bit like scientific i'm just like okay okay so i'm just going to put a couple of drops okay so there's not much in there let's just try again i don't have the best luck with droppers look nothing's coming out what excuse me do i have a inadequate uh dropping situation going on so do you meant to squeeze it like really i mean who am i right now i mean are you meant to like squeeze it as it's in right so you can see clearly there's some in there but look oh what Nothing's coming out. That's what she said. I mean, really, nothing is coming out, right? Okay, okay. I think I've got enough anyway. Um, oh, oh, do you know what? This looks beautiful. I just can you see on my hand? I don't know if you can be able to see it, but it's very much like um, dual. What's that word? Duochrome. It's duochrome. It kind of looks like opalescent pearly in one light, and then can you just see in in like if I just wiggle my hand? about like a crazy person you can see like little bits of purple okay so let's just blend that out <gasps> oh my gosh look at this oh my gosh it does feel a uh, pretty emollient i mean emollient and if you look at like my finger you can see a lot of the more purple kind of tone oh you know what this looks sensational although it does look a lot more purple than i was expecting but look at that just it looks oily it feels oily and i can see little glitters in there but i mean look at that it looks beautiful i can't wait to see how this looks up on my face okay so that's a unicorn elixir okay so next we have starlight and this is meant to be like a pinky kind of champagne tone so if i just um oh my gosh like look at that guys oh my gosh that looks absolutely gorgeous it just looks like melted metal oh my gosh look at that look at that this, it looks like an icy pink and i would probably say that this one looks like it's going to be the most kind of you know everyday wearable but 
again like I don't like the phrase wearable because I'm a big believer that you should do whatever you want to do and actually I like to rebel against wearable things you know so okay so I'm going to just get these on okay so I think I'm gonna leave the swatches up on my person uh, usually I would kind of wipe them off who am I kidding I wouldn't I'd be walking about them for days but no I'm gonna just leave them on intentionally um, because I'm too lazy to get them off no that's not why right. because I want to see how quickly they kind of dry down they're meant to dry down in a matter of minutes so we will see I'm just gonna drop this on see the droppers aren't that effective actually Look, can you see, like, nothing's coming out. Am I doing it wrong? I need some kind of uh, manual handling course in how to... Oh, it's gone on my pants. I definitely uh, do need some kind of manual handling course. Oh, it's going everywhere. It's a little bit messy. And I feel like I have to kind of put a little bit too much on because going off the swatches, this um, kind of product does seem to spread pretty uh, generously. So I'm just going to use my finger... Oh, okay. I've definitely used way too much. It does feel very emollient and I've, I've got oily skin. I feel like if you do have oily skin, this potentially wouldn't really mesh well with your foundation because let's face it, it's not a primer. Is it gonna just give my skin like a super oily base? It'll be interesting to see how my founded liation actually goes on on top. But look at that, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I have definitely moved into um, Iron Woman territory at this point. Okay, so this one is looking extremely sassy right now. Look at this side. This side of my face is like, I've not had my coffee yet. And then this side is like, I had 10 espressos and look at me glow. I mean, really. Okay, so I'm going to just try and spread it. Oh my gosh, so I feel like it's drying. Like, it doesn't feel like super, super wet. <laughs> That's what she said. I mean, really. Okay, so let's move on to Unicorn Elixir. Look, nothing's coming out. Oh my gosh. Has anyone else had this kind of issue? Or do I just have some... Oh, look, see, it's there. Right, okay, so we, we have lift off. We definitely have more in. Okay, so this feels a bit rude. Like, if someone just took a screenshot of this, or not of that, like, of this. I mean, that's a bit rude. Is that just me that thinks that? Probably, but... Okay, so let's rub this bad boy in. I mean, really, I've just made a situation that could be potentially rude, 10 million times ruder. Okay, put it on my lips, why not? Let's unicorn up my lips. I wasn't going to get the unicorn elixir until I started seeing swatches, and I was like, of course I'm going to get it. I mean, really. So you can see this is looking rather kind of purple. This feels so oily. I put way too much on as well, of course. Do you know, I'm loving the glow on my face right now. It's not even coming through on camera as much as it is in person. But look at my lips. Look at those. And look at that. And look at that. And here, I just look like an oily grease ball with a half of a purple face and then half of like a champagne kind of face but here i think it's i'm kind of getting away with this i don't know you're probably saying i mean no you're not getting away with this but i like to think i am so okay so here it is i feel like i should wait um just a couple of minutes to give this the opportunity to kind of set down before i go in with my founded liation I know that a lot of people probably wouldn't choose to apply these as a base just because probably wouldn't sit well underneath the foundation but I just really want to kind of test it out today and have a bit of a play around because goddamn I have been having to be patient and wait days to actually get these out so I just want to like make the most of this situation you know and have a bit of fun because I mean that's what makeup's for and to make you look fabulous I mean of course let me just feel my hand swatches these don't feel dry at all like they're fully transferring if I just kind of I've, I've got it everywhere like it's everywhere at this point I've, and it's on my pants I feel like this is going to be all over my entire house uh, by the end of the day yeah I'll just give it a couple of minutes I'll just go like this even though I don't feel like this is actually drying my face you know when like and I'm gonna say women here not being sexist but just because like women and gay men okay I don't don't think I'm being sexist or generalizing gay men but when we cry we go like this and I do it, I do this, I go like this, and it helps, I mean it does actually, it's like, you know, you're telling the tears, go back in, do, do not come out today, I do not want to see you today, do not do not come out, anyway, okay, so is this drying my face, I don't know, I feel like I should get the hair dryer on my face, but I feel like that would just be a completely ridiculous idea. <laughs> Something's 
happened? Oh, okay, so something's very sticky on my face and I feel like it's not going to take a, a detective to work out what that is. My face feels immensely sticky right now and I feel like I've 100% applied way too much. Um, I'm going to go in with the found affiliation at this point. Um, and can you see as well, I don't know if you can see this, but there's loads of little glitters on this side. Let me get a closer look in my mirror. Yeah, okay, so this does not look great, guys. I mean, it doesn't look great. All I can see on this side is like loads of um, like purple glitters. And then over on this side, loads of like silver glitters. Mm, I mean, let's put the founded liation on and see, because obviously I don't think it's meant to just be there alone, solo, just having a party on your face. I don't think that's what they had in mind. Go ahead and put my foundation on. Okay, so actually I feel like because the liquid highlighter is like quite uh, sticky and like a little bit tacky, my foundation is just like sticking to it like super glue. Look at that. I was worried that my foundation was going to be repelled by it and it was going to be like super patchy and it just wouldn't uh, go on but oh my gosh this is going on like no man's business i mean like no man's business right now i don't think my foundation has ever gone on my face like so quickly so okay i'm going to finish off the other side of my face okay so really surprisingly my foundation just went on super quickly i honestly did feel it was going to not uh, work well on top of these uh highlighters but oh my gosh like my foundation has gone on like super smoothly and it looks really 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 good um i know that these are meant to be like a primer but i don't know if they've got something in there um they've got dimethicone in there i don't know if there's some some ingredient in there that really does make foundation kind of stick to it because my foundation now i don't think i'm ever getting it off i think it's there for life and that's it there's no moving it. So these potentially could be a really good primer. I will let you know, but kind of longer term because this could all be a total mess within 15 minutes. But as it stands now, I feel like my foundation is literally there for life. Okay, so we're gonna move on to what everyone else tends to do. I mean, you know, normal people um, in the world. I'm gonna apply this just to like the high points of my cheeks. I've got a really itchy nose, which is, extremely distracting right now i mean really also feel like the kind of glowy base is still managing to kind of come through my uh, layer of foundation the face does definitely look glowy obviously like on the unicorn elixir side it doesn't have any of that you know kind of duochrome purple look to it but i feel like overall my face does look a lot more dewy than it would normally i was using the beautifully matte foundation which is one of my favorites and it's definitely not dewy um it's like as the name would suggest pretty matte so i like the look of it i'm really really liking it i liked how it applied on top and i'm liking the look my face looks glowy and, I, and i'm loving it right now makeup revolution did kind of recommend that you use your fingers with this product as opposed to a sponge or a brush to kind of blend it in so i'm going to try that if that doesn't work i do have a backup plan which i never have but today i feel organized i've got a duo fiber uh, brush this is a fake mac that i got from aliexpress um and as you can see it's just got loads of like brush hairs surprisingly so okay so i'm gonna begin with star what's this called star light yes yeah, starlight do you not ever think like all of these highlighters have the same names like opal starlight starburst bronze goddess uh they all have the same names they need to really think outside of the box a little bit i mean really so i'm just gonna go like this oh one again this dropper is failing let's let's try again okay so i'm just gonna do that i feel like that's a an okay amount i mean i don't know i never know with these kind of some products how much to put on and then oh hello excuse me look at this oh, the more you blend it out the less kind of intense it gets i mean that's completely moot point i'd say if you're going to be using your fingers you literally need the tiniest amount of the the product because as you can see it really does uh, like to 
you know, spread. And before you know it, you know, you could have your whole face like just covered in, in this. Uh, so I, I feel like I applied way too much. Uh, so literally just put one drop on there and that's it. I am going to go in with my contingency plan. Um, I need a hero. Yeah, I need a hero. Da, da, da. Anyway, so I'm just going to use my brush just to blend this out. And I've definitely put way too much on it's not blending out very well actually with the brush and I feel like because I put quite a lot on I could probably get away with a, a spongy it's going to eat up some of the product but I feel like that wouldn't be a bad thing at this point for me I've never used like these or I have actually used I think maybe a couple from Aliexpress but I felt like going into this that these liquid illuminators were going to be like super blinding um but I do find that after you've kind of blended them out they just give you like like quite a, a natural glow um, even like over here looking in my mirror quite a natural glow like it's definitely not anything too uh, excessive especially like you know going off the swatches one may think that these were going to be like super blinding and you know the, the most intense kind of highlights ever but that's not the case once you kind of blended them out uh, then I feel like they do give you quite a natural kind of glow. So here we have a starlight and I mean it's really nice. It's obviously, well for me I feel like it's a little bit more effort than just, you know, traditional like powder um, kind of highlight. I don't know why, I just feel it's a little bit more of an operation, you know. Um, I just don't find it as easy but anyway that's just my kind of initial uh, dissection. So next we're going to go in with a Unicorn Elixir. And I'm going to learn from the other cheek, I mean literally, and I'm going to just apply one little tiny drop and I'm going to just blend this out. Do you see what I mean? It like really spreads. It's a very generous product. It says, I will give you a lot. I will give you a lot. Again, with the finger, like I don't know why Makeup Revolution recommended uh, to use your fingers for this because I feel like the, the actual formula is so emollient your fingers just, um, I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit messy. I'm going to just pop a little bit there. I said a little bit, it's gone everywhere. I'm going to pop a little bit on my nose. I mean, why not? And I'm going to go back in with the sponge. Just blend that bad boy out. I mean, really. Blend, 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 blah, 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 blend. A lot of the people in, like, reviews and... Um, just, you know, videos and swatches and stuff that I've seen. And this is no disrespect to those people, but I feel like everyone's saying, oh my God, this is such a unique, a unique kind of uh, shade. But I don't think it is now. I think if it was like a year ago, it would be kind of unique. But if you think we've had the Moonchild palette by ABH, we've had the Kat Von D Alchemist palette, um, where this kind of shifty, you know, purpley kind of, uh, shade it's not actually that unique anymore one thing I am noticing um kind of on both sides the uh the actual highlighter doesn't seem to be sitting like so seamlessly on my skin I do feel like it looks a little bit dry and I don't know it kind of looks heavy if that makes sense um I don't know if that's something to do with the foundation maybe it just doesn't like the foundation or maybe it's the whole extra layer of itself underneath the foundation, who knows? But I don't feel like it's actually sat on my skin like really, really, um, like flawlessly, if, if that makes sense. It could be a problem with my application. Please feel free just to slate me in the comments if you feel like I could have improved anything and I will kind of experiment a bit. But I feel like these are just not looking so flawless like as flawless as I would want on my face I feel like from looking you know face on um I, f I feel like the unicorn elixir has a little bit more of a pop to it you know uh whereas I feel like starlight is a lot more kind of subtle and discreet so I actually prefer unicorn elixir it's definitely not as unwearable as I initially thought I feel like you could definitely get away with this you know for like work or a fan of this kind of duochrome um look then you will like this liquid illuminator I'm gonna go away I'm gonna just do my kind of lipstick and then I'm gonna come back after I've just had a little look at how they settled in on my face and I'll give you kind of my final thoughts so just one sec and I'll be abby be abby I remember when I used to go on uh 
I can't remember the name, it was so long ago. But I used to go on, like, everyone used to do, like, online chats. We didn't have mobile phones in those days. So I would say, BRB, you know, if we left the room to go to the toilet, BRB. We don't have to do that anymore. I saw something on Instagram, and it was an app that said, we don't have to do that anymore. Everyone's got their phones with them, like, on the toilet. Sometimes I'll be on the toilet, and I'll be texting. Okay, so she's back. I've just been on a tour of my house mirrors, having a little look at this um in different kind of lights and do you know what i do really like them both I feel like unicorn elixir from a distance just has a little bit more kind of pop to it uh, whereas the starlight is a lot more kind of subtle and a lot more kind of like a glow from within i do feel like my face feels quite heavy and you know like when i move my face around like this which i don't do in daily life of course but just like now as i'm talking i feel like my face just feels a bit heavy i don't think many people would be kind of using these as a base but surprisingly if you were to i feel like it does provide quite a a oddly satisfying base for foundation because my foundation just seems to have, it's almost like it's, it's just like teflon Kind of gone on like honey to toast it's like oh yes i'm sticking to that bad boy and i'm never coming off i mean so surprisingly i feel like as a base it works really well it's given me like an overall kind of glow so in summary i do actually really like these i think for six pounds um they're a really kind of cool uh product to uh, kind of have in your collection the only thing i will say is i feel like kind of up close not necessarily starlight but unicorn elixir does look a little bit kind of patchy i am not the biggest fan of liquid highlighters uh, it's personal preference um, i just find that they're a little bit more fiddly and high maintenance like i've ended up with this like you know everywhere on my pants i've got it on my hands i've just i feel like it's just like a little bit more of a messy product and i feel like the payoff isn't necessarily as uh popping as if i used a powder but i feel like one area that these would really kind of come into their own would be putting them in with a foundation a bb cream i feel like that would uh, be a really really great way to use these and potentially the best way to use use these because I feel like because they are so kind of emollient when you just kind of like plop them on top of your uh, foundation it can sometimes like not work so well i don't have much experience of using this kind of product so um it, that could just be my you know inexperience but i do feel like uh, the potentially the best way to use these would be mixed in with your foundation just to add a little bit of extra glow if you're thinking of uh, picking up one or two of these i would definitely say to go for it but i would also recommend that you watch a couple of makeup revolutions videos on kind of how to apply these because i obviously i'm not the best at applying them so i don't know if i applied them right i feel like they might look better if you knew what you were doing but revolution being able to sell them to us for six pounds is a brilliant situation because the uh, custom fx ones were about 50 pounds so thank you makeup revolution for allowing us girls who are on a budget to uh, actually get involved in liquid highlighters Mummy's been testing out some liquid highlighters. Look on my hand, bud. What do you think about this? Do you like it? Do you want to try a little bit? Come and sit on Mummy's knee. Let's do this. I mean, really. Do you want to try this one? It's called Unicorn Elixir. Look, it comes in a little dropper. Do you want to put it on your hand? Now, Andreas has olive skin, actually, so you can see how it looks on... Um, a little bit of a deeper Does it skin tone. Get bigger. It, well, what we do is look, mummy spreads it out like this, and it looks like a unicorn has had a little accident up on your hand. Look at that. What do you think? Is that not popping? Is that not popping your socks right off right now? Do you say? Is a little bit on your nose. Wait. Well, you can never go wrong with a bit of nose highlight, my little friend. Now look at that there. You'll see your nose has taken on a life of its own. What do you think about that? Are you showing everybody? That's a great little bit of a swatch, Dre Dre. What do you think of the nose highlight? Look, Mummy will put a little bit on too. Look, look at Mummy's nose. Are you blown away by the nose highlight, Dre? <laughs> Dre, come back over here. Right, so that brings us to the end of the video. 
and I will be back soon with more. Please feel free to leave me any comments, uh, letting me know, like if I did anything wrong or... Oh, look at that on the nose, I mean, really. But anyway, I'm going to go now, Andre. Say bye-bye.